Police now say a beloved local teacher who was found dead in a river was murdered. Her family made a plea tonight for anyone who may know anything to come forward. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff is in Chester County tonight where she spoke with Susan Ledyard's family. Alex. Well, Yuki, Susan spent much of her early life here in Chester County, so we spoke to her parents tonight at their home here along with her sister about the status of this case now changing from accident to homicide. There's somebody out there that knows something. Susan Ledyard's father and mother sit beside her older sister, Missy. It's not still even quite real to me in a way. Susan's death has felt unreal for nearly four months. The 50 year old's body was found in the Brandywine River on the morning of July 23rd in Wilmington. And only now has her death been officially ruled a homicide. We talk about it all the time that we don't think we can get to the full grieving process until we understand what happened. It's hard to sit and know that there's somebody out there that did this and uh, it very difficult. Ledyard was a teacher at Academy Park High School in Sharon Hill. According to the Delaware State Police, she died due to blunt force trauma and drowning. Her car was found three miles upriver from where her body was discovered. Not finding out what happened is just not an option. Ledyard grew up in Kennett Square and later graduated from the Tattnall School in Wilmington. The Tattnall graduate was murdered in Wilmington. It, it, practically in Greenville. Her family and police are pleading for tips, both seemingly small and large. I think that tipster will feel so good if they will come forward. And now with this homicide determination, family and friends have ramped up their efforts, putting out posters like this. This is a smaller version, but on it, it says her family is devastated and desperate for answers. So please take that to heart. And if you do have any information, tips can be received anonymously. Reporting live in Chester County, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.